Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to add a contact us page on Shopify. So how to add that contact us form as well as other additional information you may want to include on your contact us page on your Shopify store. Now, before we dive into the tutorial, I do want to mention you can go and check out that first link down in the description box below. If you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go ahead and get set up with a Shopify free trial at that first link down in the description box below. That's brendanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over to a Shopify free trial. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial. So first things first, you're going to want to make sure that you are logged into your Shopify store. Of course, you are going to also want to make sure that you have your online store and your website enabled and built already. That is important. Now, currently I am using the uh, Dawn theme by Shopify. Now you can use a variety of different themes that this will work on, but I'm currently using the Dawn theme. It works on there a lot. All of the new online store 2.0 Shopify themes should work just fine in order to get your contact us page with the contact form. It's important if you, this is important if you want the contact form uh, on your page. You can also include other additional information, which I'll be showing you as well. Uh, other things that you may want to include on your contact us page. Now, as far as how to do this, of course, you're going to want to make sure you're logged into your Shopify dashboard. Then you're going to want to come over here to the sales channels and click on online store, which I already have here. Then you're going to navigate down to the pages section. Now I have already created a test contact us page, which I'll be using to show you guys like the template, uh, but building another one just from scratch here, uh, as far as how to do that, all you have to do then is go ahead and click on add page and then it will come up with add page. As you can see, the title example, contact us. So we're gonna go ahead and type that in, contact us, and I'm gonna do a dash and put number two because I already have a contact us page with the template uh, as well as with the other information. Then next to get that contact us form, like I showed you here with the name, email, phone number, and comment for your customers to be able to leave that information in the contact form. Then all you have to do is come over here to the bottom right hand corner under theme template and select contact. Now this should show up depending on the theme that you're using. Like I said, I'm using the Dawn theme currently. Uh, this may not show up if you're using other themes that aren't necessarily directly through Shopify, or maybe if they're not the newest up-to-date Shopify themes with Online Store 2.0 and all of those kind of things. So you can still make a Contact Us page, but you might not necessarily have the ability to select the theme template. But if you're using Shopify from scratch on here, you should have this here. Then all you have to do is click on save on the theme template and that's pretty much all you need to do if you just want your uh, contact form so we're gonna go ahead and view that page here as you can see, contact us dash two, and here it is. It's just the contact us form. Now, as far as how to get the contact us page in your navigation as well, I'm showing you that here. So of course you want your, your, <laughs> your users and your store visitors to actually be able to access the contact us page. It's important that you also add it to your store's navigation. Now to do this, all you have to do is then click on add to your store's navigation. It will bring you over to the navigation section. If you don't have that option, maybe you clicked out of the page all you have to do is go over to sales channels online store then navigation and that will bring you here now you can add this to your main menu as well as your footer menu what the difference is the main menu is the menu you see here up at the top with home catalog shipping policy contact us that is the main menu. The footer menu is the one down here at the bottom under like the quick links or the info section. This is the footer menu uh, because footer is like feet and at the bottom right at the page main uh, menu is the navigation up here. So you can add it to both. Uh, you know, personally, I, I feel like just the more places, the better. It's good to add it everywhere. So you could add it to both menus. Uh, I already have the regular contact us page added here. So we're going to add this one to the footer menu. And then all you have to do is click on add menu item. You can search through, you click on link and then you click pages. You go through here and you can go ahead and click there, contact us too. And we're gonna click add and then that will add it to the footer menu. We'll click save. And then we're going to go ahead and refresh the page here. And then as you can see here, contact us too. It's underlined currently because we're actually on that page on the site. Let me refresh the home page and just so you can see what it looks like without it. 
So as you can see here, contact us dash two, you go ahead and click that and it brings you over to the contact form. So yeah, that's how you get that page there. Now, as far as other additional information that you would likely want to include on your contact us page, you know, of course, you know, again, if you do want to add it to the main menu, it's the exact same process as adding it to the footer menu. You just click here, main menu, uh, and you click add menu item. You go here to pages and you can click, you know, contact us, contact us too. It'll automatically select the name from the, whatever you named that page in your Shopify store. So like I said, I already have contact us. You can also, you know, move it around if you want to change the order as well, or if you want to nest it under something. So maybe if you want to nest it under shipping policy, you could do that as well. Uh, if you just drag it over like that, uh, or you can just drag it, uh, out. <laughs> Uh, yes. So if you want to drag it out, there we go. If you want to drag it out, then you can do that too. And it will be listed on your menu, depending on however you ordered it here. As you can see, yeah, it sometimes takes a second to refresh, but going to the regular contact us page, as far as other templated information you may want to include, of course, you already have the contact form next. You will want to, you know, make sure you include an email. So there's a variety of different information you may want to include on your contact us page. Many times people, they just want to see your email. They don't necessarily want to enter in the contact form. So it's good to list out like an email. So as you can see here, you know, feel free to reach out to us via email at hello at abc.com. Don't email that guy. That's just a that's just a template email, okay? Uh, so, and then using the contact form below, or call us at you know five 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 that typical Hollywood number. Uh, again, guys, don't try and call us. This is just a fake number for this video here. You can call at that number there. Then you can also list your hours of operation, right? Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You could also list an address, right? 123 Wall Street, New York, New York. Uh, or you can also link out to other additional information, such as other pages that you want to link to. You could include an FAQ. Personally, you know, I feel like an, a dedicated FAQ page is better than just throwing it on the contact us page. You could do that as well uh, with just like little question and answer thing, but you know, you could also just create a separate FAQ page. That's what I would probably personally do. And then you also have your shipping and returns policy, which you can easily link to if you want to add a link to that as well, which I have a whole other video tutorial about how to add like shipping policy, legal pages, all other types of policy pages to your store. You can go ahead and search through my channel if you want to find that and the templates involved there and how to do that on your Shopify store. So, but that's another thing that you could link to on your contact us page because oftentimes people are contacting you like, hey, uh, I need to return this. Like, well, but they may ask just like questions that you could already link out to other resources that you have answers to those questions just on your website. And that saves you the hassle of then having to answer these, these the, the contact information. So that can also save you a little bit of time. You could also, as you can see here now, now it moved over here. So now you can see it changed the order once it reloaded. But you know, you could also include like a little mini map. You can include HTML on here if, as well. You don't need to do any you know special code or anything to do this. Uh, you just edit that uh, basic page here. Uh, if we go back to the pages, we go to contact us, the regular contact us page. As you can see here, you can easily just edit this content with the little content box that Shopify has. You could even change out colors uh, and things like that, adding in additional information. You can add links as well. You can also edit the SEO view of the page here uh, if you want to change that as well. So really there's a ton of different information that you could choose to include here, but it's nice to be able to have that contact us form just right directly within the Shopify default themes. And you know, having that contact form is super nice and just adding that extra contact information to help your customers. So guys, I hope you found this video helpful on how to create a contact us page. Of course, if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well. And notification bell as well. So you're notified whenever I upload a new video guys. I do want to mention again, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you go ahead and check out that first link down in the description box below. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over to a Shopify free trial where you can get started with Shopify for free today. So guys, that's all for today's tutorial video on how to create those contact us pages. I hope you guys again found this video helpful and that is all for today's tutorial. So I will see you in the next one. Peace out.